Stormy Stitch and today we're doing a review of the Model Cinderella's Carriage and Tiny Kingdom pin collection. I got the Model Cinderella's Carriage made out of wood by U Gears. This is a mechanical model and it does run when you twist a key underneath the carriage. It comes with 23, yes, 23 inch pages of instructions and four pages essentially <laughs> of composite wood. Inside this box they recommend it for 14 plus. There are 200 individual pieces, in, including wooden gears and a rubber band. There's no glue needed, and it's also a choking hazard, so not for children under the age of three. It took me about four days of just a few hours at a time of building this and I, I enjoyed building it and it's absolutely gorgeous now that we've finally completed it. Oh my goodness. The shoe inside Cinderella's carriage rotates. After you've turned the key and have started running the carriage across the floor. As you can tell, my puppy is not being a princess right now. I'll include pictures of building Cinderella's carriage here. extracting the pieces from the, page, the wooden composite pages, uh, you'll want to be very careful because these pieces can break easily. There are spare, piece, spare pieces included. And after I finished, these were the only pieces, I put this in the background, these were the only pieces left. So you do end up with some spare parts, which is really nice. Now when you look here, you'll see this is one of the pieces that actually broke while I was building it. Now they did include a pressure, kind of a razor they could almost use. I 
while working on this project. I didn't really use this. Or you could use more um, of a crafting knives. Uh, I do have a few of those, I just don't have them out here right now. Uh, you will definitely want to use sandpaper. I sanded every single piece. If you do not sand them, your wheels will not look this nice. <laughs> And you can see it does roll some. Uh, if you do want it to roll and have the shoe move, you, you'll want to be able to turn the key to wind it up, which you just rotate right here and you can see all the gears do move. <laughs> and you'll use this lock on the side. Let's see, you get a good angle of it. You see how it has a lock right here? It does rotate, I'm trying to this angle in here. Crap, move. See how that, there we go, that works. Okay, you see how this ang this right here? This is a lock that you put in to stop the gear from rotating and to save that momentum for when you actually want the carriage to roll. Now, when you're going to put in the, a band, the elastic band, and you'll see it does go from up here near the horses in the front of the carriage, all the way back to the main gears. You'll wanna stretch this rubber band out or else it will start to uh, pull at the wood and can even break the wood if it is too tight of a band. I really enjoyed putting this together and I hope you have learned a few tips <laughs> to building these and I hope you gears comes out with a lot of different models uh, I've said we have started to expand, and I now have a castle, which I don't think I'm going to try that one, but my next project will probably be a TIE Fighter, and I also got the Stitch and Tar. <laughs> I'm sorry for my dog barking in the background. Hun? Go get it! I also got the Stitch and Guitar keychains, so I'll be trying those ones soon. Um, and next we'll do the unboxing. So I couldn't resist and just had to get another box. So we'll have three Tiny Kingdom pin, mystery pin boxes uh, to open and find out which pins are inside. There are three of the tiny pins inside each box. And it also comes with this master guide, which is really nice. Most of the pin collections haven't included an entire picture of all the different pins. This is for the Walt Disney World collection. Uh, the pin map. is absolutely beautiful. This comes with the chaser pin, uh, which is a replica of Cinderella's castle, already in the center. And also there is a nice velcroed pocket on the back to so store extra pins. All right, so let's get started. So each box includes three randomly selected pins and they're inside these black little baggies. First one. So first is Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, um, the Z Zerg symbols. Next. Next is the Toy Soldiers. And third. Oh my goodness. And third, but certainly not least, is straight from Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe in Magic Kingdom, Sunny Eclipse. And I'll put these all 
on a piece of fabric later so we can actually zoom in and you can see them better. On the back, it has the Mickey waffle print, copyright Disney, and says limited release. All right, let's move on to the next box. Once again, we have our three baggies. All right, first is the red vehicle from Peter Pan's Flight. Your own little pirate ship. And next is from Regions Beyond along the Jungle Cruise. That's too darn cute. And now to New Fantasyland, Prince Eric's Castle. And that's box number two. Girls. Please enjoy our commentary. You might be rascals. All right, final box. Oh, all right, a Mickey Christmas wreath. Ah, the good thing about these bags is you don't need to use a pair of scissors. Like some, you can just rip them. Girls, you are being rascals. All right, okay. Wow, all right, here is a flashback to Goofy's Barnstormer. Or throwback. All right, and final bag, right off the rip. Dang. And we have our first double. All right, that's not really too bad. Have one double out of nine pence. Hey, I'm happy with that. All right, let me get these ready and we'll show a close-up view. So here are all the pins that were in the three boxes. I think one duplicate out of nine pins is not bad at all. Here's what the back of the pins look like with the Mickey Waffle print, the limited release, and copyright Disney Ch made in China. You have two pin posts, well, two of the pin nubs next to the one pin post. Right, and I was hoping for the orange bird or the honey matching pins, but I'm very happy for the bird. Eight ones that we did get. Uh, the extra I will be trading. So here's an overview. Thank you for watching. And if you like this kind of video, please click the like button below, subscribe, and comment. What was your favorite pin and which ones would you like to get? Thank you for watching.
you can pay for it in cash box. Process and and small as well as small as possible. Here is one of the previous half a million pounds.